Sports Gamer. What's good, people? Welcome back, and today we're going to be going over how to beat cover four defenses and the new zones attached to it in Madden 17. In my last video, I said cover four defense's purpose is to force you short, and sometimes you have to take what the defense gives you. But that doesn't mean we still can't maximize our yardage potential. Cover four forces everything short and can frustrate you because it has all four secondary players playing deep. But we're going to look at it like this is easy to beat because they have all four secondary players playing deep. More specifically, who we're going to take advantage of back there, that extra safety. Cover 4 leads open a lot of possibilities in the short and intermediate passing game and huge yards after the catch potential due to the defense not having that extra guy underneath and I'm going to expose that right now. One area we're going to plan our attack is on the edge which immediately cancels out the advantage Cover 4 has with the four deep defenders and instead we focus on attacking the poor edge defender and the lack of underneath coverage making him useless through a series of route combinations. First off is the route combo that should be issued in every mad starter kit, the curl flat and slant flat combos. Running these against cover four will be a lot easier to complete because of how far back the safety on that side is and how far the inside linebacker will have to come over. Giving the offense an opportunity to pick up yards after the catch on even the simplest of routes. Or you could take advantage of the edge defender's new quarter flat assignment in cover four plays and run a smash concept like the one out of Gun's double offset in the Panthers playbook. It takes advantage of the edge defender's responsibility of manning up any inside receiver whose route breaks to the outside if there is no immediate threat to his area. So he ends up leaving the outside receiver wide open on the hitch route. You can also mix it up and hot route the outside receiver on like a dig to make the edge defender respect that his zone is being threatened and sit down in it, opening up the post corner route. You can also use plays like flow routes that remove the defender task to guard the edge and puts the pressure on the inside linebacker and safety to that side who will be out leveraged running to the corner. Basically the same way you would attack a cover three because you nullify what makes a cover four what it is. And lastly my favorite a dagger concept like the one out of guns wide trip tight end slot. The slot receiver holds the edge defender. The streak by the tight end occupies the nearest inside linebacker, which leaves only the cornerback a possible option to jump the dig route. Because if the safety does it, the tight end has a clear lane to the end zone. Cover 4 has its moments when it's the only possible coverage to pick, and other times where if your opponent picks it, they're begging to get lit up. It's all about spotting a situation where you would think a cover 4 will work best and playing accordingly against it. Alright people, hope you liked the vid and stay tuned for our next one where I'll go over how to beat man defenses. Thank y'all for watching and be good y'all. What's good sports gamers and welcome back to our defensive tutorial series and in this vid we will be going over how to beat cover 3 defenses and it's new additions this year to cover 3 match plays whose ability to man up on the fly can make your once nice cover 3 beater dead on arrival. One of the weaknesses of cover 3 is because the inside linebackers don't have middle read assignments that drop them deep into their zone unless he's being used it a huge void is left for the offense to attack behind the linebackers and in front of the safety. So I'm going to show you ways to get into this area with as little trouble as possible. And another area of note to attack is the sidelines with the flat defender whose job you're going to want to make as hard as possible. The problem we're going to tackle figure out how to beat cover 3 consistently this year is making the cover 3 match plays non-existent. Because if your opponent is running a match play, if you have a receiver lined up by himself or have a slot receiver make any sort of threat vertically, his defender who will have the new seam flat assignment in the corner next to him will man up both receivers and blow up your play entirely if you're expecting zone. So how can we get them to not do that? A couple of ways actually.